Hello, hello, and welcome to day 37 of this Unity Game Development Journal. So, day 37, and it's time for some collision on our large map that we created. So yesterday, if you watched, I, I think I started it yesterday, but it was like far from working. There was a major bug where it was looking like it was colliding uh, a whole tile before it should have. So I um, went through today and I figured out different ways of doing the collision and I rebuilt it as well as at the very end there's still minor uh, bugs with it so I decided to tweak the movement script to take out uh, all reference to time meaning um, Typically, you'd uh, multiply your speed by delta time in order to get the uh, it to match up with the, the game sync. Uh, I decided to go away with that because what it was doing was it was causing me to run into walls very slightly because the, the distance it would travel would be different from the time that I'm checking, like the distance I'm checking. So I couldn't get those two numbers to sync up because time dot delta or delta time kept changing. So, well, it wasn't really changing. It was just... It wasn't. It wasn't able. I wasn't able to match it perfectly with my collision detection. So what I did was I just rewrote the movement to not use it, and now collision seems to be working amazingly, um, along with the the collision checking I'm doing, which is a completely different algorithm. I broke it out into a brand new script here, uh, the collision helper. It's a massive script that checks a whole bunch of stuff, uh, eight directions, and also does a few things like. Um, automatically moving the player to just clean up the movement. I find in 2D, especially tile base, everything's square with sharp corners. So you hit and it feels awkward and you gotta constantly be moving around stuff. I don't want the player to have to do that. So I'm, I'm auto adjusting for different movement uh, situations. So it just cleans up the movement a bit. It did cause one tiny little bug, which I'm gonna have to fix, but um, let's just jump in and show you what it looks like. Now I've only ever tested the bottom area here. I haven't um, I haven't gone much else anywhere else on the map, so I'll, I think we should test that in the video going all over the place. If you look on the scene view here, uh, you can see all this red as well as um, around the player. I have this uh, like yellow box, so that's the player's collision box, and then the red is all the colliders I have set up on the map. So I I have it drawing on here. I wrote a little editor script thing that draws all this information on there so I could see and debug during coding here, which was really, really uh, good. Actually, I don't think I could have done it without it. So if you are ever in a situation where you're trying to do um, fine grain stuff with the visuals, uh, take some time and do editor scripts for the gizmos, draw those on the screen. Really, really cool. So let's go ahead and walk around. So on the left screen here, we'll see I got my colliders. Everything's working good. My sign collides good. Obviously, I don't have my transparency layer for the foreground, but um, yeah, so you can see uh, he does round the corners a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can get that to work. I think I'm doing it here. Uh, like that. See how it sort of rounds the corner just a little bit? If you're just off by a little bit, it will round the corner for you. But if you're obviously, then I can go in the door properly. So the collision's all working great. The next step to make this look a lot better is to clean up first the sprite, the character sprite, just to fit the bounding box a little bit better. And then secondly is to add the transparency layer for the foreground so I can um, sort of walk right around these things. So you can see, see how it just sort of moves around for me. Another thing I did was, uh, this was the tricky one to get to work because of the overlap issue I had. But now that I solved that overlap issue, I can do diagonal transitions to going this way. I do still have to tr change it so that he's facing the proper way, but if I'm going on a diagonal, I hit something, it automatically changes directions for me, which is really cool. So um, these are all the types of things that are that are sort of required to have really fine-grained, smooth movement. So I'm really happy that I got all that to work today. So uh, yeah, so let's take a uh, walk around the map here. So we got this area here. Um, can go up this bit, collisions there. Let's see. Well, now we won't be able to go everywhere, but uh, I don't think there's, you know, I designed the map, but I don't know which way to go. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, next thing I'm gonna do is do this uh, foreground, because I think that'll add really to the look of it. We'll go up here. Um, 
yeah, I need to get to that stairwell over there somehow. So let's see if I can go this way. Nope. Um, go down here. I wonder, wonder, wonder. I think I actually have to, oh, I have to go all the way to the bridge over here. I forgot. Um, not that bridge. Oh, that's a little tight right there. Wonder what's happening there. Fit through. There we go. So this is pretty cool. Everything seems to be working. Obviously I can already tell I have to uh, fix some of the, whoops. That's, that's a problem. Yeah, see, I was just going, I was just going to say I have to fix some of the transitions. Because now I'm stuck in the water. <laughs> I can't get out of here. Yeah. Well, that's good. Uh, now I'm in the water and, you know, that's hilarious. I can go. Well, anyways, I think I'll end the video here. The collision is working. I do have to redo or at least modify this map so that it doesn't jump you through on the transitions into an area you're not supposed to go. So that's a little little thing I can fix, but the collisions is working great. Um, let's get out of here for a second. So thanks for watching day 37. If you want to follow along with the uh, progress of the game, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and if you liked everything in the video, drop me a like. Talk to you later. See ya.